Hello everybody and welcome back to my gameplay of Minecraft. Today I will explain to you how I managed to get so many emeralds as you have seen. Well, I found in my previous gameplays a new zombie villager and as always or as usual those zombie villagers they will have ridiculous and absolute insane traits. But that's not the only reason why I have so many. There's a special trick or I don't know if it's an exploit actually, but I guess it's not since you have so many like me here pumpkins and I found out that I can trade 12 pumpkins at once at the maximum then I will have to wait for my villager to actually restock again and you can speed up the process of stocking up or restocking up from your villager it's very simple also I have decorated my village here with some trees I guess it's a little bit prettier now and yes I have built up a glass fence so villagers will not try to touch the fire again I can't seem to find my villager here where is he oh please tell me he didn't oh. I guess he was attacked by the zombies but then there should be a name tag here somewhere laying around or not this is so sad I think my village again was attacked by maybe a pillager or a zombie attack and my villager disappeared uh, my poor road now I cannot show you the very nice deals he had anymore and his no name tag nowhere find any trace of him oh, oh man. man why, why? at least I have this villager here this is so sad, I just mentioned in my last gameplay that I would try to breed again a new village but now I am left here with my iron knee my poor wolf is somewhere and here is your new home and hopefully you will survive any attacks of any evil monster and he has become a fisherman now, do you have any good discounts? No. Uh, unfortunately, my wolf has disappeared from my village but right now I guess it's a little bit safer I have placed some torches here and there to prevent actually spawning monsters and here yes there you can see the absolute ridiculous deal of one pumpkin for an emerald and I guess he will restock soon usually he will go to his composter maybe throw in something or just click on it to determine if your villager has restocked he will go to his workstation and actually use it and the sound you can hear if a farmer will restock his trades is just like the usual sound if you do throw in something into the composter maybe yes here just for an example I will throw in one potato you will then can hear this sound and then you will know that your farmer has restocked his trades and for me here he will not restock 
because it's a little bit too late it's in the afternoon and he will not work now but I can still trade with him something good if I don't want to and if not he will go to sleep and that's my explanation on how you can restock villagers trades all you have to do is best to keep them single in the village and they will restock much more frequently and then you can trade so heavily with this one villager like my very first villager role I had so much pumpkin 12 pumpkin would be like one maximum deal and I could do this trade five times a day and that got me up to one stack of emeralds thank you so much for watching till the end I hope you liked it maybe if you have any further questions ask me down in the comment section below I will answer them I would like to see you in another video of mine and therefore I wish you all a nice and happy day goodbye